What is up, YouTube? It is I, the Android Guy, Nick Hernandez, from AndroidUnite.com. Today, we are taking a look, again, at the MOGA controller. Um, most of you guys probably figured out by now, those who have it, uh, that this particular thing does not work with emulators, which really, really sucks. However, uh, a fellow on YouTube pointed out, and I'll give him credit in the bottom, uh, that there is an app that makes this compatible, which... Uh, I don't know if you guys seen in the past, um, uh, when I got the Wii controller to hook up uh, to your smartphone, you get able to play like N uh, N Nintendo 64 and stuff, um, and you can actually do the same thing with this one, because it is a Bluetooth enabled device. So, we're going to go go ahead and show you that today. Uh, first of all, first things first, um, well, uh, um, you're going to want to have this app, and I'll show you right here. It's called the Moga IME Settings, and wait for it to adjust, if you guys can read it, and there it is. Moga IME Settings, and we'll go ahead and put the link in the description below to the Google Play Store so you guys can download it for yourself and check it out. Second of all, you're going to need Bluetooth. So if you have a ROM that, you know, if you install the ROM that YouTube or the uh, Bluetooth isn't really working, uh, you're going to want to find uh, a better ROM. You're going to need a good connection with the uh, Bluetooth to get this to work anyway. So, um, well, I mean, that's if you have a rooted device. Stock devices, you have no problem. But anyway, um, uh, Moga IME settings, <coughs> excuse me, uh, what you're going to want to do is, uh, well, first, uh, you have to turn your controller on, okay? So, see blue light right here, searching for a device. And then you're going to want to put the system mode and then start driver, mogul service drivers. And then uh, make sure the Bluetooth is enabled. Um, select the device, which is going to be that one. And it should connect. And as you can see, the icon turned green. So MOGA Universal Drivers connected. As you can see that. Okay. Now, um, this works with all three emulators that I have, um, starting off with uh, the you know, very popular Game Boy Advance game emulator Game Boy. Uh, you got the N64 OID right there, and also there it is, Super Nintendo. So we'll go ahead and I'll just show you guys just how you set this up. Okay, so if you want to go to let's, you know what, let's do the uh, N64 one. Okay, so we'll play uh, Super Smash Brothers, and uh, we'll just go ahead. Let me turn the volume down so it's not too loud. Uh, I'll put. Go ahead and put this in the case, just like that. Okay. Can everybody see? Can everybody see? All right, perfect. I'm gonna leave it right here, kind of. Um, it's probably gonna tip around, but that's okay. Anyway, um, so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go into the settings. Okay. A lot of the emulators, actually all the em emulators, have what is called the input settings. So um, you're going to want to go to that, then go to key mappings, and where it says uh, controllers, you're going to want to select, uh, or I'm sorry, the key maps, you're going to want to do that. So now that it says the key maps are right here, the key map settings are right here, as you can see, um, you can go ahead and punch in what you need. So up, oh, no, not that one. Uh, we'll do start, is, you know, the press start button, uh, A, you can go ahead and push A to set that. Uh, B, you know, so on, and we'll just figure this out right now. Left trigger, right trigger, obviously. Uh, Z, analog stick. Um, we won't go ahead and use the other analog. We'll just keep this one, okay? So left, you know, left, obviously. And it's pretty much, I already set it up already, but... Um, so we'll go ahead and show you guys how well it actually works. So let me go ahead and just load. Um, oh, I don't have any saved ones. Bummer. Okay. We'll just go ahead and push start. Push start. And then we'll go to first player. And we'll just choose our character. We'll do, for example, um, Fox. Actually, I don't like Fox, really. Um, I'm more of a Kirby guy myself, but I'm going to push start. Get started. Okay, so now you can see I'm actually using this analog stick to control the characters, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. So um, you have all these set up already. Back trigger buttons are set up um, for blocking and stuff. 
then you're gonna run you can uh, uh, jump over here you know kick his butt pretty much so anyway um, you guys get the idea with this one so let me just suck him in I like that. there we go turn him in real quick yeah I got you okay anyway um, before I get too addicted um, just cancel that out okay now the next one we're gonna try out is the uh, Super Nintendo one now this one is a little bit harder because uh, if you guys ever seen a Super Nintendo controller it has like the same layout right here but the buttons are kind of different so um, this one will do Super Super Mario Brothers okay and we'll just do the autosave uh, just so we can skip through the intro on this one but um, I had a little now I wouldn't say a rough time but um, I had a little problem I guess you can say um, with the key map settings on this because it's not laid out as the same as the uh, like if you want A and A it'll actually be X or Y or something like that so you gotta remember which one is which so A will just we'll, we'll keep as A but B will do as yeah B will do as X X will do as B and Y will do as Y and then of course the uh, L left and right trigger button and then up is this one down is that one then left and right and then and so on so let's see if this works go back okay so Uh, no. Alright, let's try this out and see if this thing will actually work. So, um, where are Mario? And here we go. You see how... Okay, now, I don't know if you guys ever played, um, you know, on the Super Nintendo this. Um, remember, actually, A was actually Y. So, switch these up a little bit. And B is actually A that I'm holding right now. So... Um, I guess this will work, but, you know, you just got to play around with it to get, because the Super Nintendo one is a little bit, a little bit different than, than the other one, so, oh. Anyway, you guys get the idea for that. Um, I'm going to cancel that out. And then one more real quick, we'll just show you, um, Game Boy Advance, just really, really quick. And, oh, BIOS, BIOS, where's the BIOS? It was in download ROM. There it is. Okay, so we'll just go. Oops, wrong one. Ah. Download ROM. Okay, we'll just for this one we'll just do Pokemon Emerald. Okay. Now I, these are already set up, but as you can see, um, the same way you would do is you would go to settings again, um, input settings. You know, the uh, ooh, I think it's the key map. Key map. Yeah, there it is key mappings hit that and then you can preset them all just right there which I don't know why these aren't set up but anyway you guys get the idea um, so anyway um, a lot of the emula emulators work for this one uh, you can also do the original Super uh, Nintendo um, Sega Genesis works um, Nintendo DS does not work unfortunately because the developer hasn't enabled Bluetooth on it anyway. But anyway, you guys get the idea. Um, if you have any questions, if you have problems, let me know. Uh, we'll be able to help you out as as, uh, as best we can. Um, like I said, uh, one thing I... Oh, there is one thing I need to tell you guys about this. Um, now, it will work better if your device is rooted. Um, I, I can't remember where the settings was, but... Um, when you do the system mode, then you, yeah, see, uh, competitive is but requires root access. Uh, oh, right, right there. There you go. Yeah, as you guys can read that. Um, I mean, it does work better if your device is, root, but if your device isn't rooted, it'll still work. Um, you know, you just got to follow the different steps. Uh, instead of using system mode, you would actually select the IME and you would go ahead and hit. MOGA right there and that's how you would do it if um, your device isn't rooted but it's a lot easier if it is and uh, sometimes if it isn't rooted then you're probably
probably going to have problems with the analog sticks, and it probably won't work as well, but um, you guys can test it out. See, obviously I don't have an advice that's not rooted at the moment, so I can't really show you, um, but anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure that all covers it. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions at all, uh, let me know, and I will help you out as best as I can. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. And also follow us on Twitter at Droid Unite. And that would be very, very helpful. Alrighty. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your vacation. If you're, Well, I'm still on vacation. I'm off work for actually two weeks and I go back on Monday. But it's pretty awesome. Had two weeks off. Was sick the majority of the time. Now I'm feeling better. Which is yes, yes. Anyway. Alright guys. You have a great day. Three, two, one.